Hi friends, in the last video I introduced a digital FM receiver project. Now what I'm gonna do is to decode the I2C signals of the FM receiver module using oscilloscope. If you remember, the FM receiver module gets soldered on the back side of the PCB board. Focus is clear, I mean this one. Uh, so what I did was to solder two wires on the SDA and SCL pins of the Arduino so I can easily hook the oscilloscope probes to the pins and check the I2C signals. For decoding, I will use Siglent STS2102X Plus and STS1104XE oscilloscopes. Alright, I start with the STS2102X Plus oscilloscope. As it is clear, I have connected the channel 1 or the yellow probe to the SDA and channel 2 or the purple probe to the SCL pin. So this shows the connections. In the next step, I will move the camera forward to, able to, to be able to capture and show you the oscilloscope screen clearly. Okay, welcome back. Now the screen is pretty clear. Uh, the first thing I should do is to play with the trigger option because this is a serial signal and its protocol is I2C. So let's press the trigger. Serial and I2C have been already selected. Channel 1 is SDA and channel 2 is SCL. Uh, I should adjust the trigger then and set it to the normal. For this case, normal is better. Mm, something is wrong. I think maybe trigger setting. Yes, trigger setting condition should be set on the start and now the signal is pretty clear. So you can move the signal to the left or right or change the time division that allows you to catch any glitch in that clock or data. The next thing I'm gonna do is to decode this I2C signal. So press the analysis and then decode. I should turn this on, bus 1, and then play with the result list and turn it on. After this, I think I should fix the protocol signals and yes, SCL should be set on channel 2, like this. And there we go, what's your uncle? This is the decoded data. If you remember, I set the start bit as the trigger for this I2C signal. You can change that to something else such as data length or whatever based on your need. When I play with time division, I can say this oscilloscope does the decoding task almost in real time. Nice! Now let me play with the FM receiver and see what happens. And yes, you can see the changes in the data and RW status. The oscilloscope performs the processing quickly, that's why it does not miss any changes. The format of the decoded data is hex, however you can change this uh, to something else. I think the option was here, no? It is in the bus display, yes. Uh, the format can be changed to decimal, binary, hex or ASCII. So this was a brief overview of how this device uh, triggers and decodes the I2C signal. You can replicate my experiment. In my opinion, this device did a decent job. Alright, now it's the time to check the STS1104XE oscilloscope. Uh, the first step is to adjust the trigger. So let's uh, press the trigger and I should change the and put this on serial. Protocol is I2C. It was already selected. Channel 1 is SDA and channel 2 is SCL. And then let's press the normal trigger button. And there we go. Now the signal is stable. Let's press the decode button and set some parameters. SDA, SCL. For channels. Now the data, the data is on the screen and its format is hex. The same as the previous device, this one also uh, offers many decoding options which you can use. 
Although its user interface cannot be compared to the SDS2102X Plus oscilloscope, however, this oscilloscope also did a decent job in decoding. Alright, I did not play with all provided I2C decoding options of these two devices. However, I let you do so and let me know about your experience. Catch you next time.